Okay guys, so the hair I'm using today was sent to me by a company called Unis Hair. I'm going to have all the details in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. Um, this is what the inside of the cap looks like. It comes with two combs by the side, and the parting place is what you see right there. It also comes with one comb behind and adjustable straps to help you secure the wig better. So basically, this is not really a how to lay your wig down, but I'm just going to show you guys what I did. Um, basically you want to put this on a mannequin head or if you want to do it on your head that is fine just don't put the pins on your head so this is basically what the hairline looks like without me doing anything um, you can wear it like this if you want but I decided to go ahead and pluck some hair out um, I plucked a good amount you don't want to pluck as much as me if you really want to have this hair for a really long time because if you pluck too much on the first day the hair sheds so it's gonna shed and it won't last as long okay so basically just keep plucking 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 this is not a how to pluck your frontal tutorial guys I have that on my channel you can check it out So next thing you want to do is get an elastic band that would help you hold this wig down and you just want to measure from the top of one ear to the top of the other ear and sew it down to your wig cap and I'm sewing it just a little bit below the two combs that we're in front. Now I'm just fitting the wig on my head and as you can see with the elastic band the wig is very snug and very secure. I'm going to go ahead now and cut off the excess lace by the side of my ear. Next thing I'm going to do is spray this airbrush spray. I usually don't do this all the time but this lace had like a green tint and I did not want to bleach the knots like I was not in the mood I didn't want to have to tint the lace and everything so I had to try my best to change the color from green to caramel like my skin color and I tried my best guys but it turned out okay I, I mean whatever <laughs> but anyways I don't know what happened but the lace was a green tint like it was just really weird anyways take um, your rubbing alcohol right now and just clean um, your forehead just so that there is no oil when you're about to glue your wig down and I'm taking the got to be glue um, um, Spiking glue the one in the yellow bottle and I'm going to put that on my hairline and then you want to go ahead with uh, The got to be glue blasting frizz spray this two together work magic trust me um, I would tell you guys if you're going to be using this kind of gel like the got to be glue You can definitely put it on your hair, but if you're using any professional gel like the bold hold or the ghost bond don't let it touch your natural hair okay next thing when that is tacky so basically when it is very sticky you want to go ahead and put your wig onto the glue and just use your blow dryer to get it dry you don't want to press it in if not you're going to start having all those white flakes that you don't want so basically what I do is I just take the tail end of my comb and I just tap it lightly until it's completely dry and I repeat that step for the two sides of my head next thing you want to do is lay your baby hairs with some mousse and just tie it down for a good amount of time I basically just tied it down till I was done with my makeup So now the next thing you want to do is try to make your curls pop and I'm basically just using water to get the curls to be more defined and after I'm done using water I'm going to go in with some mousse and this mousse is just going to help the curls last all day long. If you guys like my makeup definitely follow me on Instagram because that's where I post my makeup tutorials so yes I don't post it on YouTube because I just don't like editing long makeup videos <laughs> but definitely follow me on instagram at barbara odense and at d-e-h-t-e-w to watch my videos okay so the next thing i'm doing now is just taking a blow dryer and i'm just using this to get the hair to be a lot bigger this is basically like i'm diffusing the hair basically and i don't have the the what's it called the attachment so i'm just trying to use my hand and improvise so another thing i'm going to be doing here is because i want the front of my head to be a little higher so i'm going to be using my got to be glue 
spray to give me that extra height that extra hump you know so basically just spray it down and use your hand to mold it while you're blow drying it and you're gonna get that little raise up there you know <laughs> So yes guys that's pretty much all i did to style this wig um as you can see the lace the color is a little weird but it was because the lace itself had a green tint and i tried my best to turn green to caramel brown and it was you know a bit hard <laughs> but anyways guys that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it definitely give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos because they are pretty nice check out my instagram as well if you want to see me doing my makeup and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye bye Mwah.